The topic of this video is graphing numbers with specific distances from zero. Let's look at a few problems. What value or values can you replace star with to make each statement true? Shade the values on the number line, then write an equation involving star. All right, let's look at our first problem. The absolute value of star equals one. We know that absolute value takes something negative and makes it positive, or takes something positive or zero and leaves it alone. So what kind of number can we put inside these absolute value bars in place of the star so that when we take the absolute value, we get the result one? Well, certainly if the star was replaced by a one, the absolute value of one is one. So star could be one. But if star was negative one, the absolute value of negative one also gives us one. So star could be negative one. Now we write our equations. Star equals negative one or star equals one. Okay, let's look at our next problem. The absolute value of star equals negative one fifth. So what number can we put inside here to get this result? The most frequent wrong answer given by students is negative one fifth. If you put negative one fifth inside the absolute value bars in place of the star, the absolute value of negative one fifth is positive one fifth. So we won't get this result. In fact, no matter what number we put for star, when we take the absolute value, we will not get a negative result. So therefore, there is no solution to this problem. Third problem, the absolute value of star equals zero. The only number we can replace the star with to make this equation true is zero. The absolute value of zero is zero. So the star goes at zero and we write our equation star equals zero.